Hey folks, this is Vagrant. Welcome back to Halo 2. We are now back playing as the Arbiter, and we're here, hello, to steal some needlers, first of all. We're here to find the Sacred Icon. That's the thing that's going to activate Zeta Halo. And uh, blow the world up. <laughs> well, blow the world up. Blow up the entire bloody universe, actually, as it happens. So. I got some needles for my needler. Feeling very purple. Very sexy. What are we doing? What am I doing with my life? I'm lost already. <laughs> it's taken about two seconds. I don't know where to go. Well, ironically, where do I go? Um, I get a feeling I'm meant to be like activating something and I can't do it because I'm dual handed. Is this a thing? What's this? Oh, I can smash that. Can I? <laughs> Is that a good thing? Okay. That's what you get, son. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I clearly don't have a bloody clue what is going on. I'm just going to blow over. Right, okay. You want to be destroyed as well, apparently. Going in. Figured it out. <laughs> I guess? I don't know. It didn't seem like there's any indication that's what I was meant to do, but... You know, whatever. It worked. That's really all that matters. Maybe we can just... Works eventually. Okay. Lots of very modern Forerunner architecture around here. <clears throat> I feel like the Forerunners are kind of one aspect that hasn't really been delved into at this point in time. Like, we know they came before us and they were here before the Covenant, they were here, assumedly, before the humans and everything. And they built all this architecture and they designed the Halo rings, right? But beyond that, we don't really have much information. It's funny, I waste so much needle ammo by um, not firing enough because I think... I think, you know, I want to preserve ammo so I don't fire as much. And then by not firing as much, the enemies come back again. Or they, they recharge, basically. So I end up actually throwing away lots of ammo. This will work eventually. <clears throat> Alright, I don't think I can destroy that. So that opens up maybe. My boys! My Rubits! Rubit? My boys! Good job, Jackal Buddy. Rubit. Jackal, say thank you! <laughs> that was great. Have you heard that? That was. He's talking about the Arbiter. I didn't do anything, but he's talking about the Arbiter being our savior, i.e., me coming and saving them. And then, stupid Jackal, say thank you! <laughs> The quotes have some of like the best dialogue in the Oh, what was that weapon? Is it the beam? Do I want a beam? I don't think so. Something here. I'm alright with what I got. Stupid jackal, say thank you! <laughs> it's so good. Where am I going? This way. This doesn't look at all suspicious. Let's see if you fare better. 
They say that, Mr. Bruto, but I never see the Brutes. The Brutes are never bloody here. Certainly seems like they're slacking. What I'd love to be able to do is count correctly the exact number of needles necessary <laughs> to take down every enemy in the game. Ah, see that's what I need to destroy. I have a little poke around, get some ammo, dead brute, lovely stuff. <clears throat> Brutes are never alive, they're only alive in cutscenes. Other than that, they are always dead. My grunt buddy's still alive, my jackal buddy's still alive, come on boys, let's go. Boys? I don't know, are they boys? Are they male, are they female? Is there actually a sex or gender at all? You know, we could well not be. Down we go. Hey, aww. <laughs> All I want to do is keep them alive. Nothing else matters. I've got two grunts now. <laughs> what big scary thing? It's just a robot. It'll be fine. <laughs> Arbiter, protect! Protect! I've got you, buddy. Don't you worry about it. I'm just accumulating grunts from somewhere. I've only got a needler ammo. It's a concern. Decided I'm going to swap it out, so may as well burn through it, basically. These grunts are smashing things, I tell you. Absolutely nailing it. Is there one I'm missing? Is he... Oh, right, yeah, I didn't see that. Oh, and over there. Maybe they opened up. Oh. Let's get out of here! You're gonna try to kill. Yeah! <clears throat> Tough son of a bitch, though. I'll give it that much. Quite nice, huh? You know, random new enemy halfway through the game. That's always appreciated. Always like that. And this looks a lot better. Uh, what are we doing, grunty friends? I know we're here to take down the shield. Oh, Nelly. Whoa, Nelly. That's definitely definitely destruction. I see more droppy things. I don't need to drop these, though. Maybe that's what I'm doing. Hit them until it makes noise. Maybe that deactivates the shield. <clears throat> Theory has been established. I guess it's a... Oh, yeah, I was right, okay. It's a hypothesis at this point. I'm gonna go click the thing, okay? I'm gonna click the thing. We'll see what happens when I click the thing. Click the thing. Need new beams. Yeah. Alright, plasma pistol it is apparently. I'll grab a needle for now. I'm okay, you okay? 
This is very cool. Hey, gang. Halo. It feels weird calling it Halo because I always shoot associate Halo. Get out of there, boys. I associate Halo with the first Halo, you know what I mean? I'm going to call this one Zeta, not Halo. Because the first Halo isn't, is usually referred to as a Halo, it's not referred to as a. I didn't realize I was dying. I'm not going to lie. I think that uh, the, big, the big robot decided to turn around and try to murder me. But you refer to the first Halo ring as Halo, right? You don't refer to it as... I don't even know what it's called. I'm going to say Delta, but I don't think it's Delta. But we'll roll with that for now. There's nowhere to hide, man. Oh, I can go below. Oh, Flood! Didn't even see the Flood. Didn't even see the Flood. Oh, yeah! Arms are rocking a battle rifle. I love it. We're all using human weaponry. They must be, uh. Well, humans. <laughs> Come on, man. this stuff is not great against the, uh. Ah! Okay. Good against Flood, bad against Rubits. Ah, no, me. So, I mean, rather inevitably, when you get down towards the libraries, there's flood, right? So clearly the flood and the halos are somewhat inextricably linked. Oh, I got a checkpoint. But there's so many of these. What the hell? Saw a weapon. I will use the beam to destroy the beam. Much as God intended. Right. Just, just a brief moment of calm is all I'm looking for, really. <laughs> just a brief moment of calm. Earn some ammo. What the hell? Oh, it's... Why is it blue? I love it. But why? <laughs> I'm not complaining, it's cool. Why is it blue? Is it because I'm the Arbiter? Does that make any sense? Here more! It's just constant though, it's just all opening up. If they just opened them all at once, I've been screwed. Are good? I hope I'm not good, because I don't know what to do. Okay. Okay. Well, I guess this is very similar, of course, to the... Um, 3 for 3 Guilty Spark level and the Library levels back in Halo 1. Architecturally, it's very similar. Is this really where I'm meant to go? I'm not convinced. Maybe I can go down here. It's quite 
quite a uh, difficult little level to navigate this, I'm telling you. Maybe I'm an idiot. Both are very possible. Uh, you're basically dead. We have a pistol. A magnum. Although I would prefer a Desert Eagle. I'm not going to lie. Desert Eagle has always stood very strong in my memory. Mainly because of Tomb Raider. And the Desert Eagle was an absolute monster on that game. Pretty sure I wasn't hitting it for that entirety. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, I... Ah... Uh... Um, okay, I was meant to be keeping an eye on the terminal. I don't think I've got to that. Whoa, yes, baby. I don't think I'm at that point yet. So I think we're okay for now. Oh, damn. So the humans are here at the same time. That's cool. That's kind of like... um. What we're seeing is, you know, obviously the chief is meant to be coming here and they're trying to get the key themselves and all that kind of jazz and I guess we're kind of seeing that at the same time. Although chief is currently at the bottom of the lake being attacked by an eldritch monstrosity so I don't really know what that's all about. I guess we'll find out in the next level. Shotgun isn't strong in this game. Plan is to accommodate for both enemy types. I am big brain. Look at them. They look even better. <laughs> there, <laughs> go away. Actually disgusting. Legitimately disgusting looking. It's crazy. Come here. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! What? I only turned around for a second. God damn it. Just let's get up close. Hey, hey, hey. And now I get a checkpoint. The game is so weird about Japanese. <laughs> you really do have to keep in mind just how easily you can die in this game. You have to be ready. I just got one hit. I just literally got one hit killed. Didn't take any damage before then. Dude drops on my head, punches me in the face, and I die. God, you are disgusting looking. Come here! I've been waiting for you to kill me. Unironically, just been waiting for you to kill me. <laughs> I was hoping for a checkpoint. There we go. <laughs> Absolutely annihilated. And again. Oh boy. 
really, really close there. Really, really close. I do think the game could be better at indicating when you're super low health, you know? <sighs> it's just so much more difficult. It's the opposite than ever was this Master Chief. I don't really know why. Jesus! I just get shredded. It's got no health. Okay. No! <laughs> Go away! <laughs> People did. Oh my god, hello. People did suggest when I read up on it. I believe Halo 2 is the hardest of the Halo games in terms of <clears throat> when you're playing on high difficulties. Like, people say it's the hardest one on Legendary, so I'm assuming it's also the hardest one on Heroic. But different people will struggle with different things. I haven't struggled with Halo 2 nearly as much as Halo 1. Which I would say has been the hardest of the three so far. I had the most frustrating sections, you know, where I was really struggling to get past. That hasn't really ever happened with Halo 2. There's been a few places where I've died, like, a couple of... Oh, a few times even. Like, more than once, for sure. More than three or four times. Especially, like, on that... Uh, hell, in the last video on the boss. But... There's been no time where I've died, like... You know, I've spent 40 minutes dying. Which is what happened sometimes on Halo 1. Some behind me, isn't it? Why is it? <laughs> this game's stupid. <laughs> yeah, I know you're here this time, buddy. Oh! That was a sick grenade. I don't think he was dead, you know. Are they going into the bodies and revitalizing them, essentially? Like, bringing them back to life? That's the impression I just got. I'm sorry, there's that one on the ground, like, shaking about, going all wibbly wobbly, which kind of looks like it was being, you know, resurrected. And and I swear I saw one jump into a body just at the end there. This may have been a little aggressive. <laughs> oh, it's a big boy. That's why. Um, he's in a really awkward position. Just gonna ignore him, <laughs> for now at least. I don't really have, usually I've been using grenades to take him out, but I don't really have the grenades to do it this time. I'm not gonna lie. I took out an arm. What if I can chuck a grenade? What if I held it? No, it's not really a thing in Halo, is it? Just have to keep shuffling a boot. The battle rifle is so bad against these guys. It's crazy. 
All right, all right, all right. Bloody Nora. No need for that. Really low on ammo, so I missed this one. I need, like, a plasma gun or some description. Alternatively, thank you. I haven't ever told you that you're super annoying. That's two arms down. I don't know what that achieves. But he's not harmless or uh, arm armless. Let's check this one. Die already! <laughs> My god. Oh, I messed that up. Hey! Took some bloody work, that did. Sure. Okay, now, I'm pretty sure I didn't actually have to kill it, but to be honest, I didn't know where else I was going, so I figured we'll kill it, and then I can at least explore in relative safety. What do you mean relative? Because these little buggers keep showing up. a hidey hole I'm missing somewhere? Do they have a spawn point that I can't see? Which they keep appearing. Oh, hello. <laughs> yes, yes they do. Well, that would have made life easier. Okay. With all that finally bloody done, what am I doing? <clears throat> Just move? No. Am I going over there? Guess so. Man, I have such a strong feeling that I could have literally just walked down here and ignored all of that and it would have been absolutely okay. Yeah, that, that was just messy. A little bit Lionel, as they say in the clubs. And they're like, what do you want about your numpty? <laughs> Really try to headshot. Ah! Um, flood, but it does work. Where are you all coming from? I destroyed your home. <laughs> Pay me my due respect by going away. At least it's hard to run out of ammo when there's a billion of the bloody things all over the place. Not again. <laughs> Please not again. Right, let's check for houses. What have we got over here? A uh, rocket launcher. That's a blimp I mean rocket launcher. Alright, that does imply the existence of larger robots. I don't see a spawn point. That doesn't mean there isn't one. Just means I don't see it. Given they keep spawning, <laughs> I'm gonna take a stab in the dark and suggest there probably is one somewhere. That's usual, I don't really like carrying around rocket launchers, but uh Given the presence of those big, big rubits, it's useless down here. I don't need a rocket launcher here. Although the beam is really good against the flood, as it should be. It makes sense. Because at the end of the day, <clears throat> that's part of what the Sentinels are doing, right? They're here to kill the flood, so... I 
I'm not really willing to walk around with just to beam at 30 ammo. Just in case. Just in case. Way too aggro this. <laughs> Did you like forget about me there, buddy? Did a little pop. Come here. Okay, they started going invisible. I don't know if it's a bug or if they've unlocked a new ability, <laughs> but it is slightly concerning. Come here. Oh, we're all over the bloody place now. I'm getting low on ammo. I wouldn't mind a dual SMG. Uh, the SMG on its own, however, pretty ineffective. All right, once again, where the hell am I going? <laughs> Pretty sure there's about a bajillion floor behind me, not just these guys. Alright, come here, you. Didn't even kill it! Oh, it did. <laughs> about to be blown away. Yeah, look, that guy, that guy just got revived. I'm not crazy. He did. Oh, that's an intense... L oh, wait, wait. I was meant to be looking for the terminal. <laughs> terminal, the first large platform that has a skybox. I don't feel like I've been there yet, so I'm going to keep going. If I've missed that, I'm going to be sad. There's someone behind me. Constantly taking hits from dudes that I can't see. Now oh, my ammo. But my beams. I'm not for long. I really want a flashlight as well. Never realised how bad it is not having a flashlight. I've got camo, which I'm probably not using the camera enough to be fair. Like, I feel like it's probably worth using more than I am using it. This is getting very spooky. Negative, ma'am, they, they, ma they are not covenant. They're the fluid! No one can stop the claw! Music, please! Have some chill! Why would I swap for that? Oh, no idea. Oh, because it's, it's different coloured. Is it different? I'm genuinely curious what the difference is. Maybe the orange one is good against the Flood and the blue one's good against the Rubits. That could be a thing. Music! Calm down! It's really nerve-wracking stuff. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I think it's here. 
on the left hand side. Eh? Oh. Look at this though. Look at that. It's the library, right? Actually it looks really cool in the old style as well. It's nutty looking. It's awesome. Um okay, apparently it's not here. Terminal first large platform that's the skybox one without the flow Right, I think it's I think it, I think I'm in the right area, but I've not quite got that yet. Basically. Well, that's, that's that's making me a little nervous. But it's I mean it's clearly not here, so. Alonzi. Alright, music. <laughs> Constantly the music. See me rolling, they hate it. Something, 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 riding dirty. I'm very curious. I'm gonna have to Google this after this. What's the difference between these, uh, these beams? If anything, you know, maybe there is no difference. It's just pretty. Whoa, Nelly. Whoa, Nelly. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's a lot of flood. Some would say, and I would be one of them. There's too many floods. Leave me alone. You want to dance? Let's. Oh my God, I don't want to dance. <laughs> Hey, I finally found something the plasma sword's good at again. <laughs> finally. Okay, that's, that is wrecking me. Jesus. Usually I'm fine to let them eat me, but not as the Arbiter. Maybe they've just been made worse in this game. We haven't dealt with the Flood as Chief in Halo 2, have we? No, we have, we have, we have. Have we? I'm not convinced we have, actually. They just keep coming! Give me a beam. I'm getting out of here. I can still see the same skybox, which is promising. Let me out of here! How long is he? This can't be good for the legs. The chafing, man. The chafing. Oh. I have a horrible feeling that I missed it, you know? I don't know. I don't know how I would have, but I, 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 don't, I don't see where it feels like I missed it anyway. We'll see. It's annoying if so. Oh, the way, man. <laughs> I'm trying to save you. Maybe there's maybe there's more platforms. I don't know. We shall see. But I am apprehensive. But I'm also flying, which is much cooler. That's nothing up here. Oh, hello. <laughs> Okay, this isn't working at all. I'm getting killed from behind. Bloody needlers. There's always a bloody needler. I have nothing to say about what just happened. I just got shotgunned from nowhere. It just obliterated me. Right, screw you. <laughs> going in. <laughs> it's going so badly. <laughs> 
Going in. Wait, I'm gonna chuck a grenade there. Oh yeah. That's one way to do it. Ah, someone's got a explosive. Right, this is really not the place to be using the sword, if we're honest. Um, I need my boys. My boys have been falling behind a little bit. What I really like about the beam, though, it, it, like, it clearly like detaches limbs from the flood, which is pretty awesome. Eventually, they'll die. <laughs> Can I have one of your guns, please? Look, you'll have ammo. I don't have ammo. <laughs> Give me a weapon. Needler. Shotgun. That's what we're talking about. A little bit close distance. I can, you know, I can get in with the, uh, the, the sword. It feels better in situations like this. But when it goes all wide open like this, I just feel like it's utterly useless. Huh? Huh. Admittedly, I probably don't need both a sword and a shotgun. <laughs> it seems to be uh, doubling up a bit unnecessarily. But in cool, in, in certain situations, the sword feels awesome. And it uses up way less energy than it used in Halo 1. It used to be 10 per hit, and now it's like 2 or 3. Am I going down the creepy green thing? I think it's just a pool, isn't it? It's not a pool, but I don't, I don't think I'm jumping down there. Oh, where am I going? I found myself lost a lot. Oh, over there maybe? That's just another creepy pool. Am I meant to jump into the creepy pool? I feel like the answer is no. Yeah, I have such a deep want to do so. <laughs> like, all I want in life is to jump into the creepy pool. I came from there, and there's too many creepy pools. If there's only one creepy pool, I think the creepy pool is the right way to go. But since there's multiple, I think I'm just trying to like hold this position, you know. Oh, no, maybe not. Love the sword. <laughs> it's been a hell of a change in opinion, but the sword is pretty awesome. Mainly just because it dives forward and that looks cool, you know? He really jumps properly forward, he absolutely flies. Plus, it looks awesome. What next, Covey Bros? How are we doing? I really, yeah. I mean, I keep getting checkpoints, so assumedly I'm not meant to go anywhere. I have a bit risky this one. <laughs> oh, nice! Good job, buddy! Protect. No! Covey bro. I'm trying to take the small guy hits for him. Worked a little bit. Oh, one of them died though. I feel bad for him. The ship's back. That's a good sign. Hey! Progress! Quarantine. No, I missed the terminal. I actually did miss it. Oh, that's really annoying. Okay, what I'm gonna do... Well, watch the video first. In the center of this zone is a sacred icon critical to the great journey. I must find it. We shall cut into the heart of this infestation, retrieve the icon, and burn any flood that stand in our way. 
Parasite is not to be trifled with. I hope you know what you're doing. Yeah! Forward, warriors, and fear not pain or death. Just a part of this. I'll follow when our reinforcements arrive. So I guess something's opened. How's that not here? <laughs> hey, no, I want to get out of my ghost! Oh, wait, well. Ah, no, I'm not playing the level. <laughs> right, give me a sec. Uh, I, I, see what, I see what my problem was now. I was looking in. So, we were here, and I was looking on this thing. I was meant to look on this over here on the right-hand side. Oh, I feel stupid. Right, we're going to watch it. Anyways, we're just going to watch it via YouTube. The city was not always as it is, nor was the Covenant. At one time, it was only San Shayum and Sanghili, but as we grew and new species were added to our number, radical steps had to be taken. Our first encounter with the Let Golo was an effort in futility. The blasphemous creatures had devoured a forerunner orbital, shattering its remains into a trillion pieces. What was left became the rings of Tay. As no conventional methods could purge the rings of their infestation, we sent one of our most faithful, an Arbiter. For a full year, this Arbiter ventured across the surface of one of their moons, learning both their strengths and their weaknesses. It was there that we discovered the Let Golo secret. Although some of their kind rightly bore the blame for the orbital's desecration, others had only devoured around the Forerunner materials. And with reasoning and much labor, these could be used to serve the Covenant. And by these means, the Great Arbiter had given us one of our most sought-after treasures. Access to innumerable processing pathways of the mighty forerunner Dreadnought, and to the many secrets it held. Okay. Bear with me. The Lek Golo. Okay, so they're not, they're not, they're not the Flood. I thought they were the Flood for a moment there. The Lek Golo are a species of small, colonial, worm-like creatures that can join together to form purpose-specific assemblages. Oh, like the Hunters. Of course, the Hunters are exposed at the back. And what you're seeing is those, like, orange, fleshy bits, but that's actually the worms. So the hunters are actually a collection of worms, basically. That then gather I mean that's why it looked like I mean it did look like a a hunter here, didn't it? This bit. That that looks very much like a hunter. Um Interesting. So they formed on Tay. They first came into contact with Covenant when the Alien Collective landed in search of... So the Covenant were looking for Forerunner artifacts. Blah, blah, blah. I don't want to read too much in case things come in later on, but that's cool. So we just learned a bit about adding extra species to the Covenant, so now they work with the Let Golo as well. And obviously, I don't know what grunts are. The Brutes haven't been introduced. That's like how they joined the Covenant. It's interesting. Right, anyways, thank you very much for joining me. Next video, we will... Uh, Move on. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. Cheers, much as always. Bye-bye.